All right, so it is, it smells sweet, not a good sign. Hey guys, it's Lindsay, also known as By Me Fox, back with you again. Welcome back if you've been to my channel before. If you haven't, I come up with really random things and encourage you to draw along with me. Today will be no exception. Uh, a lot of what I've been doing lately has been a little more thought out and a little more pre-planned on my part. I'm wanting to get back to actual drawing inspiration, which was why I started this channel, which is what I've always been trying to do in the community, help other people like come up with stuff to draw and prove that you can find inspiration anywhere that you look if you just look for it. So, I'm starting a new segment today. You've probably already noticed that from the title, but I'm gonna intro it anyways. So, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? One of the things that I like to do in my free time is partake in adult beverages, as I am of age in my uh, country and state. And I saw the ugliest bottle of beer ever. And it's got a sloth on it, man. So, I kind of wanted to buy the ugly bottle of beer because it's hard to say no to a awkwardly sappish avocado green beer. And then I noticed it is a um, kombucha tea beer combo thing. And I'm addicted to kombucha tea because I'm boring like that. So uh, then I really had to buy it. Then I was like, I've got to do something with this amazing sloth bottle. It's just, it's too much cute for one thing. So I decided to start a new series doing character designs based off of um, drinks. Um, I'm going to call it drinking and drawing. No, they will not all be alcoholic drinks. I will make sure I put some non-alcoholics in there. But um, just proving that you can kind of look around and find inspiration anywhere that you want to. Um, we're only going to do one of these guys because that's a lot of alcohol for one person. Um, I probably am actually going to just do some sketching tonight and then tomorrow I'll actually sit down and get a drawing going um, or get like a final piece done just because I know um, it's late and this is definitely more than any one person needs um, and I'm not sure that I'm gonna really have the creative energy to create set up a new shot um, and get everything going this evening so we'll see what happens but I think it's probably just gonna be it, me introing it and then <sighs> hmm I don't think this is a screw top <laughs> that is not a screw top by the way um same kind of color cool let's take have a taste and let's go it just tastes like a beer like a like a hoppy beer that that has no kombucha flavor to it at all all right, teacher voiceover fox here. Uh, sorry, my camera apparently was too close to my light or something, so it's getting this weird clicking sound. So I'm gonna have to do this as just a voiceover with some music, which is fine. That's what I used to do. Um, the whole thing with the sloth and the fur coat was really what got me stuck. So the first thing I did was uh, get on Pinterest and look for people with fur coats on, um, like super fashionable ladies that I feel like could pull off such a crazy green color. Um, and I did find a really cool model. I kind of changed it up a little bit, made it a little, a little different. Um, and on this one I did use the watercolors as well as watercolor pencils. I know a lot of people don't like those, but I like the texture it leaves. It's got like a, like a pencil texture to it, but um, I don't know. I guess traditional watercolor don't find it pretty, but I think it's cool. Uh, but anyways, my big thing on this was just getting a uh, big furry texture on that jacket, uh, which I did think was really successful. I think the face shape could have used some more work. I probably inked that in a little early. Um, I think the, the eyes were a little funky too. It's not my, not my greatest on that. Um, but I like the way it came out all together for the most part. Um, the background's horrible, actually, I will say that. The background was a weird, strange choice. I, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Um, but hey, you, you know, now I know. 
Um, but anyways, yeah, so I did use the um, two different palettes. One of those is the complexion palette, the lower one. And then the other one is a uh, Winsor Newton lower level palette. Um, I don't remember what it's called. But um, they're both pretty good. They've got really basic colors in them. Uh, the complexion palette, I probably am just super lazy for have got to have gotten that. I should just mix my own complexion colors, but somebody else already did it for me, so I just I just bought that. Um, and then the pencils I've had for forever, they're not actually something you can find anymore. Uh, I did look for them uh, to link them below, but they just yeah, they're too old. They don't make those anymore. But yeah, I'm using a brown uh, micron to do the. Um, outline for this it's a micron uh, pn i do like the plastic nibs but this one for some reason was giving me trouble uh actually doing the getting juicy enough i don't i don't know what was what was going on with that kind of weird this angle is way too wide i need to zoom in i'll zoom in next time now i know Oh, every time I hit my desk, it does completely move the thing, so that's fun. I did throw a little bit of sparkle in, too. I got this weird uh, palette that looks like an eyeshadow palette. Oh, yeah, see, no. Mm, no. Bad decision. Oh, God, it got worse. <laughs> Anyways, I got this kind of eyeshadow palette thing that's uh, soft pastels that does, like, a really cool metallic sheen. Um, I like it. I haven't figured out how to use it yet. It It just, like... It's just a little frosting on stuff right now, but I'm going to figure out how to use it better um, later on. But yeah, that is it. That is what I came up with with this particular drink. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if there's any drinks that you think I should do next, uh, they, like I said, don't have to be alcoholic, but I'd love to do more of this drinking and drawing. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Of course, like, subscribe, show me a little love if you can. I love doing this for you guys. Anyways, thank you. Bye.